So I'm back with some more Forza Horizon and this is episode number 16. So welcome back guys. I want to say a big thank you for the support while I was away. You guys were still liking the videos and stuff which I, which, which just means so much. And thank you for the comments as well. You guys voted for the Extreme Off-Road and you voted for the old Local Motors Rally Fighter. Which sounds like a really weird name but um, it looks awesome so I'm glad you went for it. That matte, that matte black suits it so well and looks absolutely incredible. So... I just literally played Drive Club, and for me this game wins like outright. I think I just I didn't enjoy Drive Club at all. There's no options for like assist or anything. There's no like driving line. Oh, just I did not enjoy the game. Also, I think this game looks a lot prettier, like a lot prettier in so many ways. Um, anyway, enough of that negative stuff. Let's get straight into it. Let's pick um. We might pick a design. I'm not sure. Probably not. I must go for the matte black. I'm gonna give them a chance. Let's let them load up. See what there's a whoa, that's actually quite cool. Like a snake. Like a snake effect. That's quite cool. So I always I'm always up with, with having ladies on my cars. <laughs> like a monster, that's quite awesome as well. Oh massive jaws. These these designs are getting better though, I must admit. They are getting better, which I like. Even though even that's cool. Like local motors, like um uh what's it, Transformers style a uh, bumblebee sort of stuff. So, I would not have that one, but um, I, I appreciate it anyway. Let's have a quick look at the colours. So that's the matte black. I think we've got like a gloss colour as well. I wish, I wish I could edit like the, the view. I can't see what's how it looks from like afar. I stick with matte, matte black. I think I like that. It looks awesome. It suits the car. So look at that interior. It's just a beast of a car. It's an absolute beast. It doesn't cost too much as well, which I like. Definitely thumbs up for that. I love uh, cheap cars that are epic <laughs> that makes any sense so i'm gonna set a target for you guys for this episode can we hit a thousand likes in this episode nice and quick that'd be incredible i think you guys can do it um also back from paris now so i'm continue probably one a day i think um at like 5 p.m i think like every day hopefully fingers crossed all right, all right. hello ben i've trip? missed you ben destination one is castelletta down on the coast this route has some of the best driving roads in the world Make the most of them. I will make the most of them. This is actually quite a long journey. Jesus. <laughs> very, very long journey. This car is on the quickest uh, uh, car. Whoa, what is this car doing, man? It's like another planet. It's like being in Paris over again. Over there, they're lunatics. Literally lunatics. They drive like so close to each other. I'm just surprised letting it crashed into it is stupid. I didn't drive myself, but um, I was getting in taxis and stuff. So what the hell? I feared for my life sometimes. Hello. People off roading. Random haystacks, of course. Which do tend to sort of knock me out a little bit. Oh, this this car is epic off road. It's so quick. It doesn't it barely even slows down. Just like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna run over stuff and I don't care. I better break though. I better break. I switch back. Let's look outside. Look at this beast. What, did I get hit from behind? So the car's damaged already. When was that? Screw it. What's that about? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, there's actually been a new car pack today as well, so I was tempted to perhaps cover that. It's like a really cool Jag and a Jerg. Uh, the Jag F-Type, I think it's called. Um, but that's the only decent car in it, and it's like $5 or something. So I'm like, is this worth getting? I was tempted, but perhaps if we need it in the future, I might buy the, the DLC packs so I can cover it. But uh, I've never I've been a big fan of like DLC on racing games. I just like more cars. I mean, the cars in this game do look amazing, which I do appreciate. What car's that? Oh, okay, it's the Atom. Um, yeah, the cars do look amazing, so I do appreciate that it does take time to make them and make the interiors look pretty up to the Forza Horizon, Forza Standard. Um, I, I do realise that, but it just, it just seems like a lot for me to, like, buy a couple of cars. There's already, like, 100 cars in this game already, like, 100, 200 cars. I don't know, how, I don't know exactly how many, but, yeah. I wasn't that, that keen, I guess. So about five kilometers left. Whew, excited. So have you guys got this game yet or attempted to buy it? Let me in the comments below. Oh, I'm going to try and perhaps do some more online stuff, perhaps. Might do some live streams or something. Just really struggling to find the time at the moment. I'm trying to work out what games I want to cover, what games I don't want to cover, what games I want to stop, what, what, what games I want to continue. It's becoming a little bit tricky. Oh, skiddy time. It starts raining, of course. Let's get over the place. 3.5 kilometers left. Not too bad. 
Um, I may have time. To, yeah, we'll have time to do a race. At least do one race. Excuse me, random traffic. It's an S2000, I think. I love those cars. I don't know why. I think they were in one of the Fast and the Furious movies. What the hell is this? Why did they, like, attack me? It was like a casual stroll to the uh, event, but they, like, just ram into me and... Oh, they're, they're crazy. I do notice the rain looks amazing in this game, by the way. For example, Drive Club doesn't have any rain in it. It will eventually, but what is this guy doing? What are they all stopping for? The AI in this game sometimes is, like, in, like, another world. It's almost like weekend drivers, where it's like, I have no idea what they're doing. It's annoying. Just randomly stop. What car was that? Fancy. I do like that. I love the fact we can see all their names and it's just like a random arrangement of cars, like Ferraris, some like Toyota old cars. Whoa! Whoa. Could have gone horribly wrong. This car does not seem to like rain too much. I must admit, it doesn't like rain at all. Here we go. Almost there though. We're getting close. It's just. We're going back to base, aren't we? Like the initial sort of uh, start of the whole event. So, oh, God. Is that next people there? Where is it? Is it down there? Ouch, ouch. That went a bit wrong, didn't it? It's all parked in the wrong place. I'm trying to see where that XP board is. I think it's around this way. We go down here. Oh, hello. Oh, what? I swear it's down there. I don't know, perhaps I just missed it. Yeah, it is down there. How the hell did I get down there? The fences I can't get through. Anyway. I will move on. Let's uh, get to the destination. And boom, we're here. Hey, this one's new to Horizon. The Extreme Off-Road Championship. Some of the cars in this are just nuts. So I hope you're prepared. Pick an event to start the championship. All right, what should we pick? They're all quite far away, actually, which is weird. Uh, let's go with uh, this one, I guess. So the one that's on the far right. So get those ones out of the race. I've got this one here. This one. Is it? Is this a race as well? No, it's not a race. What's new then? <laughs> I'm so confused. Right, so that's a race. Where's the... Yeah, okay, I can count them all. That's, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go to this one first. It's a little, it's a little journey to go. But, um, you leveled up. Yes. Give me a wheel spin. Give me a car. There's quite a few decent cars on here. I can see it. Some of it looks pretty sexy. Damn it! What's almost and on an Audi? Screw it! So close. We haven't done like a one of those epic events, like those showdown events. We haven't done one for a while, have we? I want a new one. There is, I know there's another one. I think it's like a boat with the race. Is it a boat? Something. It's definitely something else. I'm gonna do that really badly. Right, let's go to this next corner. Speed cameras. Wonder how close we are to uh, leveling level up again. Nice. It's just this car. This hill's like massive. It's so slow. Slowly does it. So there should be yeah an average speed camera around here. Let's get to this next bit. I think it's just on the. Is this it? We've done it. Nope. Try and corner as quick as we can. I remember it is raining though, so we're gonna lose a little bit of traction. I can't really see much on the on the left. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a massive pillar there. It's like, what the hell is that? that is, I can barely see. I can't see that car like for ages. Some of the, uh, if you're turning left, to make it a little bit tricky trying to pit, I hit the apex for sure. So I'm pretty good stick with this view, I reckon. So I can see what's going on around me. Especially being like off road. Uh, off road is going to be a little bit tricky. You might see, might miss like random trees or. Random haystack or random post or whatever. Oh, what's this? XP. 14 balls. 100. I'm so far away from getting every ball. It's stupid. Oh, well. Thank you. Scared. Great drift. I'll take your word for it. So this is the first event. Like I said, I'll say this every time, but I get a little bit nervous on the first event. Like if our car's good enough, or I, could, I guess I could upgrade it a little bit, perhaps. But for now, we'll leave it at this little standard model. We may upgrade it if we need to. I'm trying to save my money, really. I want, I want to get loads of credits. Let's go! Race to the bitter end. I love the map finish on this car. I love it. 
The thing with off-roading, I find it's hard to hit all the checkpoints. <laughs> Trying to hit everyone, it can be so difficult. This doesn't have like all-wheel drive as well, so traction might be an issue. But I'm gonna try my very, very best to try and get a good result. This may well, maybe one of the, mo the more trickier ones, I reckon, to try and win, but. All I can do is try my best. All I can do. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, bad, I barely got through that. See, that's like not the right angle to take that at all. Just the fastest way, I'm not even sure. Probably not. Nope, they took a shortcut. Yay! Oh, God. Please, give me more traction. I the off-road does look amazing, though. All the sort of dust and stuff picking up. Oh, man. Can I get a good result in this? This is going to be difficult. I can't even stay there. I can't keep the car straight. It's nearly impossible. Oh, man. It's going to be a tricky one. Oh, hit a car as I was still jumping. So, I was... I eight? If it's eight? God damn it. Did I hit the checkpoint? Before, like, just about. I wasn't really paying attention. Almost regretted it. Oh, this car keeps pushing me. Stop it. Why does it do that? Stop. Think about your own race as well. Like, you're not going to make... You're not going to gain any ground by just ramming me constantly. It just makes no sense. Just keep going forward. There's trees everywhere. This is such a hard race. I mean, how am I supposed to come first? I have no idea. I'll try and take a little mini shortcut-ish. That works, that works, that works. Where's the next short... Where's the next one? There it is. I'm trying to just go straight as possible. Quite a big bend here, though. Ooh, right, next one's over there. Right, if I try and come around a little bit. Just hit the checkpoint. Yeah, just hit it. It's getting a little bit better. I'm only in fifth place, though. This is not the best start. I swear the first race is always difficult. Off-roading is hard though. The AI is very, very quick. Do not miss the checkpoint. Do not miss the checkpoint. Oh, but I'm got such a weird angle. God damn it, one mistake. This game, honestly. One mistake punishes you so much. Look at this. I'm back down to ninth. Ah, it's been such a hard race. Definitely the hardest race I've ever done by like a million miles. I could not have done any better then. I don't know. I barely even freaking lifted, let alone braked. Eighth. Wow. We've done it before. We come back from eighth, but this is going to be difficult. Um, Ooh, that didn't go so well, cheers, though. mate. Cheers. A bit of a mountain to climb from here. You cheers for that. Great. You did that last time. Right. That's awesome. Right. I don't know what to do. I should probably restart this, but I can continue. I'm just trying to push through. I <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what to do, but... Oh, man. I've had a few races like this. <laughs> I tried so hard, though. It's so hard. It's just so tricky to get the, the right line. The AI is so freaking quick in this. It's like they sort of ignore the fact it's off-terrain. It's like, oh, it, it seems like a road to me. And just goes really, really quick. It's weird. I know I crashed into a tree, but... God damn. God damn, that was hard. Whew. So much concentration. I'm going to do some upgrades now. Let's do just... I don't care if I have to pay to fast travel. I just want to get there nice and quick. Um, is it... Oh, man, it's fairly close. God damn it. Okay, fair enough. Save for money, I guess. Cockpit view. This will be even harder. Whoa, what the... Just drove right into me. This car's expensive. Yeah, we're going to try and just own the next race. Fingers crossed. If we don't own it, I'll have to pretend to restart the whole championship. Should be a right pain in the ass. Obviously, you guys won't see it because no, not have you guys watch the same race, the same race twice. That's just stupid and very boring. All right, if we can just land. Oh, there we go. Enter, please. Uh, garage upgrades. Hey uh, custom upgrades. I want to go for some more steering, perhaps more sort of better traction. Can we tell a tire compound? Ooh, okay. That's a good little... Whoa, braking improves. What the hell? Does that not make it like less off-terrain, though? If you, if you get what I mean. Street. I guess not. Man, okay, that's tempting. Well, I'll go with that, then. But it's still an A. Um, what else can we do? Does tyre width in help? It does help. And the tyres are just bigger. Look at those beefy tyres. I can't go above an A, so... Um... But the weird ones. It goes into 801. Damn it. That is crazy. Uh, that's room size. Oh, I need to do custom ones. 
What ones do we have? Let's go with specialized. Why are they so small for? <laughs> They're like really, really small. Oh, I think that's fine. We're going to leave it at that. I think that's the max we can do. Uh, I can't really add any more power either, can I? I can just go over the eight. Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? Doesn't really do too much anyway, but at least our braking's like massively improved. Which is definitely a plus. But I can't see as many grooves in the tyres. So I wonder if, it's, if, if I go off-road, it's going to be tricky. I'm not sure. Uh, but for now, we're going to end today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry about my bad racing on this episode. I hope I do better in the next one. Off-roading is definitely a challenge in this game by a massive, massive margin. And it is so challenging, but still a lot of fun. I hope you come back soon, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.